Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to take the fictional favourites tag. So this was created by Final Blow Joe, who I'll link to below. Kind of rhyme, that was cool. I'll also, <laughs> I've also taken this tag before, so here is some footage of Young Dane attempting this. And today I'm on the Somerset coast, and we're going to be doing a fictional favourites tag. Okay, so the point of this tag is pretty simple. There are 12 questions, and they're all questions about your favourites in terms of your literary favourites, your reading habits. And I'm just going to go through each of the questions. And I've got some books. I've gone out of my way to try and pick books that uh, are all by different authors. So there's not too much repetition, but that does also mean that some of the answers probably aren't my real answers. And the man upstairs is walking along, you can hear him going along the ceiling. Question one, favourite genre. Now I struggled with this one because I read all sorts of different genres. I also write all sorts of different genres, so when people ask me what I write, I, it's hard to give a straight answer. That said, I think the genre I probably read the most and that I write the most and that I've kind of most been associated with has been horror. And so for that, I picked up The Stand by Stephen King. It's actually more of a suspense, I suppose. It's like an epic road trip. I absolutely love The Stand. I couldn't get enough of it. And uh, it's his longest book at 480,000 words. And I think it could have been longer. I would have read more. Number two, favorite author. For this, I picked Graham Greene. This is Brighton Rock, which is probably his most well-known work, set in the criminal underground of Brighton in the 1920s, I believe. Graham Greene's one of my favourite authors. I really got into his work when I was about sort of 17, 18, I suppose. Started with his short stories. I've now read most of his books. This is by no means my favourite, but I thought it was one that you might recognise and be interested in. Question three, favourite book? This one's easy because I get asked this a lot and I always give the same answer. It is Northern Lights by Philip Pullman, which is also known as The Golden Compass and was turned into a terrible movie, which you shouldn't see, you should just read the book. And actually the new book in the new series um, that's set in this world is out now and I haven't read it yet. And I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know if I wanna go in and risk polluting my old happy memories. Question number four, favorite land or environment? Okay, so for this one, I picked The Woods Out Back by R.A. Salvatore. It's kind of a quite an obscure-ish fantasy novel, I guess. R.A. Salvatore has actually written a bunch of other books and he's written for some big franchises. He actually wrote a bunch of Baldur's Gate, Forgotten Realm, uh, Drizzt Duerden tales, if that makes any sense. If that, if that makes sense to you, bravo, because it barely made sense to me. Anyway, in these books, this is about a character called Gary Leager. And what's interesting about Gary is he works in a factory, literally putting parts together. And one day he finds a portal at the end of the woods uh, down in his back garden. And this takes him through to this other realm. It's quite stereotypical, almost in a way, in that he's the forgotten hero and he has to go and kill a dragon and do all this stuff. But when I was about 14, 15 reading this, and as you can see, I've reread this a lot and it's very much loved. Um, when I was that kind of age, I always wanted to go down to the metaphorical woods at the end of my garden and find a trip, uh, a, a thing to a magical realm far away. Now I'm just rambling, so we'll, yeah. Question number five, favorite spell. I struggled with this one. Well, I didn't really struggle. I could only think of Harry Potter, and this is just Philosopher's Stone. Just, uh, no, Chamber of Secrets. Didn't even get that right. This is going well. I picked this one out literally at random. It could be any of the Harry Potter books. And the reason I picked it for favorite spell, not only because it's the only one I could think of with kind of nameable spells in it, rather than just a magic system that's kind of described, was that uh, the ASIO spell that brings things to you, how useful would that be? I mean, I kind of grew up wanting to use the force and then I read Harry Potter and then I was like, don't need the force, I just need a wand and the ASIO spell. And then I didn't get that either, so now I have to get up and manually move things, which is awful. Question number six, favorite beast or creature? I've gone for I Am Legend by Richard Matheson here and this is the movie uh, cover for it. Actually, the book and the movie aren't that similar. The main character in the book is he's kind of just a sort of Joe Average. He's a bit of a heavy drinker and the, the bad guys in it, they can all speak and they retain their memories and they're basically kind of vampires, um, but they still have the personalities of his former neighbors and friends and all this stuff. So it's really quite sinister. I went for this just because of vampires in general. I could have got Dracula by Bram Stoker, but this one was closer when I was going around my shelves. Question number seven, favorite food. For this one, I picked up uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory by Roald Dahl because let's face it, it's full of amazing sweets. I mean, I don't even, I can't even think of any off the top of my head. I was just planning on flipping through. That was Everlasting Gobstoppers. I mean, there's a freaking chocolate river for God's sake and like, 
all this magical chocolate that tastes really good. Question number eight, favorite beverage. Now I struggled with this one and had to take in suggestions, so I've gone but for formally by me. Now formally is uh, about the rise and fall of a social network, and as a social networking startup, obviously one of the things they spend a lot of time doing is getting shit faced in the middle of the day and then working all night while still shit faced. So there's a lot of booze in this book. And at some point, somebody probably drinks a lager. I'm pretty sure they do. So I will have their lager. Promo out. Favourite good character. For this, I've got J.R.R. Tolkien, The Return of the King. Uh, and again, it could be any of the Lord of the Rings books here, really. And I was torn between two of these, actually. And neither of them are Bagginses. The first was Aragorn, because I think Aragorn's really quite an interesting character. And he's obviously, he's kind of haunted by his own demons. And he's got this big big thing he needs to live up to but then I was thinking about it more and I think actually my final answer is uh, Sam Ganji potato Sam that's what we call him so I'm saying potato Sam favorite bad or evil character I have gone for a game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin again it could be any of the books in the series really and there are so many bad slash evil characters to go for and actually the one I'm going for he might not even be bad. We, I guess we'll have to wait till the end to see. He's kind of a, I would say, a lovable rogue, but he, he's definitely a bit of a bad guy. And I'm going for the Hound, because, again, he's kind of got his flaws, but also... I mean, you got to love the Hound, really. I mean, and bless him, he's scared of fire. Question number 11. Favourite male protagonist. I have gone for Feet of Clay by Terry Pratchett. Again, I could have gone for any of the City Watch books because my favourite male protagonist is probably Sam Vimes because he's just like, he's like Sherlock Holmes, but more badass, I think. he's got, What I like about him is that he's got the kind of hard-boiled detective kind of feel, but at the same time, you know, he's a good guy. He's fundamentally good and he's making the best of a bad job. And he ends up being like repeatedly promoted through the echelons of Ankh Morpork. And he doesn't want that power or that influence. He just wants to literally chase bad men along the streets at two o'clock in the morning. Good guy. All right, and final question. Question 12, favorite female protagonist. Now, honestly, my favorite female protagonist of all time is Lyra from Northern Lights, but I already used Philip Pullman and it's also my favorite book, so I, I didn't want to repeat there. So instead, I've gone for The Look Uglies by Paul Durham, and this is actually one that I was sent for review uh, a few years ago now, and you can see from its little shiny color uh, cover. I've actually read all three books in this series. I don't think there are any more, and the main character in this is called Riley, or Rye, and um, Again, because it's kind of a YA sort of fantasy book, She's it's the typical kind of story. Her dad's missing and she lives with her mother and her sister. But she develops a very strong personality and ultimately ends up saving the day by just being a badass. And as you can see, climbing on rooftops. So anyway, that's the fictional favourites tag. I'm sure I've rambled on for longer than I meant to. It's 12 minutes, 30 seconds long unedited. So I'll try and bring it down as much as I can. I now need to tag some people. So I tag anyone who hasn't done it because this has been going around for a while now and also I've got three people to tag who I'm pretty sure haven't done it and they are Todd the Librarian, Graham Quigley as well and Catadactyl and their links and stuff are below so yeah that was the fictional favorites tag thanks a lot for watching leave a comment or a like or a subscribe if you would like to see more and uh, I'm off to go and tidy this big pile of books I've created next to me now farewell